Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is also a viewer requested video. It is like I have taken two to three topics in today's video related to Accenture. Okay, so few of my viewers has been requested me or to make a video on these topics. Okay, so I have picked up the video today. There are three topics which I have picked up. First is CID creation. Let me read out the questions one by one and then I'll start the video. Okay, first question is. Ma'am, can you please tell me how the CID creation, okay, candidate ID creation will be happen on Abacus tool of Accenture? This is the first query. The second question is, it is related to some one of my viewers in the Instagram. They have messaged me. The big message was there. I'll put it somewhere in the screen. You can read it out. They were telling they got the offer letter, but the joining didn't happen. Some uh, problem they were facing. So on that, I'm going to discuss in today's video. Fine. The third thing is facilities for interns or new joinees or freshers in Accenture. Okay, we are going to discuss on these three topics in today's video. If you are really interested, then watch the complete video from start to end so that you won't miss even a single point, whatever I'm saying based on my knowledge, based on my information, whatever I'm having, based on my experience. Okay, so stay tuned and watch the complete video from start to end. And also, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and also enable the bell icon so that Whenever I upload any latest videos, you won't miss the updates. Fine. So let's start with the video now. See, if you want to join Accenture, let me go with step by step. Okay. If you want to join Accenture, what you will do, either you apply via Naukri or you visit to the Accenture recruitment page, right? In the career page, you visit and you upload all your details, resume, everything you update there, right? This is how you usually do or via LinkedIn also, you may apply. See, what most people will do is, if you already you know that you want to join Accenture, you are interested to join only in Accenture, what they will do is, they will visit the career page of Accenture. Okay, most of the people visit the career page of Accenture. They will update their details. Fine. They will update their details in that career page, upload the resume and submit that. Right? This is what the procedure, how uh, in the career page the things will happen fine so if you upload through career page or through naukri or through any other medium if you are going to upload your resume okay if the accenture recruitment team is going to view your resume if they are really interested to hire you then what they will do is they will take your resume and store in the database fine what they will do they will store in the database so what will happen after storing the after storing your resume in their database automatically the CID creation will happen. It is not like you are going to create in the some tools like Abacus tool whatever you people were telling. It is not like that. Okay. It will be automatically get created once your resume get uploaded in the Accenture database. Try to understand this. Once you update all the necessary details in the Accenture recruitment portal along with your resume and apply for the opening. Either you upload the resume in Accenture portal or the recruiter upload the resume in Accenture portal or internally if any Accenture employee like how if I refer you to Accenture, I am going to share your resume to the recruitment team, right? They will going to upload the, your resume in their database if it is interested. Once it get created, if you're going to create the account in Accenture, it will not going to happen. Anybody externally, internally or anyone once got created the resume, once got uploaded in the Accenture database, again, you can't able to upload the resume. It will show CV is already yeah. available in the database. This kind of message, it will pop up. Once the resume is uploaded in the Accenture recruitment portal, then the unique CID will get automatically generated against your resume. Then from then on, the further candidature is tracked okay from screening to your interview and then your till you get on board that CID will remain same fine I hope you got the clarification on CID let's just discuss on the next point okay if you have any doubt in this query whatever I have discussed till now please do the comment below or else you can reach me on Instagram or in Gmail I will clarify your doubt if you have anything to discuss further on this topic okay so let's move on to next topic the next uh, 
topic or the query whatever i'm taking up is the instagram message whatever people has been shared with me this is like multiple people has shared i'm not going to read the exact message the messages i'll show you somewhere in the screen you can read it out by yourself the thing the main thing for from these messages is that people are waiting for the uh, offer letter or joining day since they get the offer letter they have rejected the other offers because of this offer letter they have rejected other offers by thinking that they will get the joining date immediately they didn't get the joining date they don't know when to join accenture they are still waiting though they were having other offers they have rejected that this is what the main query was okay so i already many 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 times i have discussed in my videos that please don't wait for the joining date if you have already if you have offer from other companies join that company why you are wasting your experience why you want to waste your experience which you can gain by joining that company let's say if you join accenture it is not like other when when you are going to switch the company people will look for the accenture company name and you will get the jobs immediately it is not like that don't think that only experiences matters whichever the company you join if you are wasting your time it is lost for you okay Accenture people is having so many people to hire. They will be hiring in mass. Okay. Bulk hiring they are doing. So they don't care or bother for you. Only for you individual. You have to think wisely. Okay. If you have a multiple offers, whichever the offer is having the highest budget. First look for the highest budget offer. Okay. Then see whether that highest budget offer is having the joining date or not. If yes, then select that one. Okay. If location and everything is fine for you, select that one. Don't select the company by name. Whichever the company, service based, product based, startup, whichever the company it is. If you are having the offer letter along with your joining date with you, select that company with highest budget. Let's say you are having three offers. One is of 7 lakh, one is of 9 lakh, one is of 10 lakh. Okay. This 10 lakh is Accenture. They have not given the joining date. But this is, this company is some X company that package is 9 lakh but they are having the joining date and this is 7 lakh this is also having the joining date choose among these two this is the highest one right choose this one don't go with this accenture don't sit for the name of the company don't wait just for the sake of the company's name don't waste your experience guys i'm telling keep on telling this point don't wait and waste your time okay if they are not coming back to you within a week drop it out just look for other opportunity grab other opportunity if you don't have other offers only accenture is there not a problem start looking for the other opportunities you will get the calls you will get the interviews okay don't wait and waste your time this i'm keeping on repeating i don't want to repeat again and again so this is what i wanted to discuss on this topic fine if you have anything please do the comment below or reach me on instagram if you want to have any further discussion on this topic fine let's move to next question the third question is ma'am can you please tell me what are the facilities is available for new joinees or interns in accenture see if you are a new joinee intern or fresher going to join accenture what are the facilities available let me discuss one by one okay first you will be getting 14 days of accommodation okay you will be getting 14 days of accommodation in three star hotels with two sharing bedroom along with that you will get complimentary breakfast for all 14 days but rest you have to like lunch and dinner everything you have to buy from your pocket the second thing is travel allowance you'll be getting some 2500 travel allowance you will get okay if you are traveling from different city okay let's say you're uh, you're staying in pune but you got the joining location in bangalore then you will get the accommodation 14 days accommodation along with the travel allowance 2500 you will get or else you will get the uh, if the bus service is available in that area where your hotel is there then you will get the free buses accenture bus facility you will get to travel from hotel to office premises okay make sure that you will provide this facility if you are traveling from different city another city not from the same city if you don't take this facility then there won't be any reimbursement for that okay if you take you can take else there is no reimbursement so you will be getting complimentary wi-fi in the hotels wherever you are staying for 14 days you will be getting complimentary wi-fi free and also water bottles they will be giving free other expenses like lunch dinner had to be paid out of 
your own pocket money sometimes what will happen this service apartments or hotels will not be available they will provide three star hotels or service apartments whether it is a lateral hire or freshers okay in terms of freshers whoever is going to join accenture newly they are going to provide the service apartments or hotels three star hotels they are going to provide if sometimes service apartments or hotels is not available then in that moment what they will tell you is they may ask you to pay for your stay okay you can spend for your stay and you can stay there and you can claim it later but you can reimburse that you can claim that for sure later if that time if in that moment service apartment or hotels is not available during that point of time they may ask you to pay for it and then claim it later sometimes in some cases don't get like we are not getting paid we don't know we will get claimed or not the investment will happen or not it will happen okay that's it for today's video in these three topics that's what i wanted to discuss with you all i hope you found this video informative if yes just give it a thumbs up if you have anything to discuss with me please do the comment below if you want to have any further communication one to one communication with me please reach me on instagram or in gmail both my gmail id and the instagram id i have given in the description box please reach me out there if you want to have any further discussion okay if you found this video really informative please share with the friends whoever is looking for this kind of information okay they may get benefited or if you have any information for that not discuss here please do the comment below okay it will be really informative it will be really helpful for the people who is looking for this kind of information thank you so much for watching bye bye